What's going on everybody and welcome back to Sneaker Huddle Weekly. This is our segment we do each and every week for the best, the most anticipated sneaker drops that are gonna be going down each and every week. So if you are a sneaker head and you've been missing out on some information, this is the best place where you can come to get it each and every week. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on. But without further ado guys, let's get into a little bit of sneaker news. Earlier in the week, we saw a Jordan Reserve loaded to Nike sneakers, which we knew about this, but the one confused thing is that where did the Air Jordan 5 Retro Oreo go? Now, the reason why I bring this up is because I think that it's possible that we could at least see maybe another Jordan Reserve loaded possibly later on in the week. And the reason why I say that is I don't think that Nike would have fumbled or you know missed the shadow completely. So this is just me 100% speculating that there might be another Jordan Reserve later this week that does include that Air Jordan 5 Oreo. But be sure to hit the top link in the description below, follow Sneaker Huddle on Twitter, and enable notifications for that notification as soon as they are live, if they do go live. And for the week, the most anticipated sneaker drop for a lot of sneaker heads out there is of course gonna be this Yeezy 350 V2 in the dazzling blue colorway. We have done an extensive on foot review for this colorway. So if you have missed out on it and you're interested to the sizing, which would recommend to watch it for sizing and also the overall review and details of this sneaker, I will link it in the top right hand corner there and also in the description below. But without further ado guys, kicking it off on February 24th, Thursday, the Air Jordan 1 Brotherhood will drop in the United States. Retail for the pair has been set at 170 for men and 130 for grade school. Now pertaining to the men would expect these to resell for around 220 bucks and for grade school sizes retails 130 and would expect these to sell for around 160. Now for viewers over in Europe, this Air Jordan 1 Brotherhood will drop on Saturday on the 26th. And while we're talking about Europe, on February 24th, Thursday, the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red will make its way to Europe. Retail for the pair has been set at 200 bucks, and you can expect these to be on the secondary market for around 250 and up. Now this sneaker is personally my favorite sneaker of the entire week, and that is of course the JJJ Bound New Balance 990 V3 in the green colorway. These will drop on JJJBound.com at 12 p.m. Eastern, and they will be followed up by a wider release on March the 3rd, but retail for this pair is extremely high. The total cost of the shoe will come out to around $280, and based on the JJJ Bound initial colorway for the New Balance 990 in the V3 colorway, those are selling for around $300, so this would fall into the personal only category, but wanted to mention it as this is a pair that I'm really excited for, and I know a lot of people that love New Balance are excited for this also. While we're on the subject of New Balance and clothing's New Balance collaboration, these will come out to be around 160 bucks, likely a personal only, but wanted to mention this, the raffle is live on in clothing. And last but not least, the most anticipated sneaker for the entire week is going to be this 350 Dazzling Blue. And when it comes to how to cop this sneaker real quick, let's cover the quick details to how you can secure this pair on drop day. First step, there is going to be a raffle thread down below in the video description for all the raffles, whether they're worldwide, European, or United States, all the raffles will be added to that raffle thread in the description below. So definitely be sure to knock out every single raffle. And on the 24th, status access will go out for Finish Line and JD Sport. So be sure to follow us on Twitter. It's the top link in the description below and enable notifications. So as soon as status access is out, we will send a notification out, but this will likely happen anywhere at the top of an hour. And I wish I knew for sure, but we will wake up very early in the morning, 8 a.m. Eastern or 9 a.m. Eastern or 10 or 11 is likely when status access will go out for JD Sports and Finish Line. But by far the best manual site to cop this pair of sneakers is gonna be Dick Sporting Goods. And there will be a few first come first serve retailers that are okay, such as Hibbit, YCMC, Jimmy Jazz, and DTLR. When it comes to these first come first serve sites, they're hit or miss. You gotta be extremely quick, obviously. And surprisingly, I've had a lot of success on Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker, Champ Sports, and Yeezy Supply as of recently, and it's not because it's that it's been me doing it. Uh, the auto checkout provider that I use, they've had massive success. For example, they had 70% success 
on the Yeezy 500 blush, the Air Jordan 1 dark marina blue. I was able to get three pairs of these, uh, but they had 95% success within the entire group. And for last week's LaMelo ball, they had 50% success. And I just tried to place my manual you know, expertise towards Dick Sporting Goods, entering all these raffles, any cues that go up on Snipes USA, some of the first come first serve sites, Jimmy Jazz, DTLR, Hibbit Sports. And then I let the auto checkouts do its work on the foot sites and Yeezy Supply because honestly, as a manual user, you stand a very, very slim to none chance on these retailers. So that's why I opt for auto checkouts and if you're interested in who I use I will leave their details in the description below but that is how I would recommend to move forward with this dazzling blue release now for the estimated resale prediction for the Yeezy 350 V2 dazzling blue retail for the pairs have been set at 220 bucks and I think that these are gonna hit around $320 and of course will increase in value over time but the best sizes to go for are of course gonna be the base sizes four through six and anything that's 11 and up. Now let us know down below in the comments what is the one sneaker that you would like to add to your personal collection this week. I know for a lot of people I could guess it's gonna be the Dazzling Blue 350, a super clean colorway which if you wanna see the review it's in the top right hand corner and also in the description below. But for me, the sneaker of the week personally, uh, just for me, is gotta be the JJJ Bound New Balance 990 in the V3 in this green colorway. I really love this sneaker. I hope I can add it to my collection. We will see a wider release that does go down in March on March the 3rd. But comment down below, we would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this week. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that blue sneaker huddle subscribe button, enable notifications, and if there's a video there that you would like to check out, be sure to check it out. God bless each and every one of you and have a great week.